YouTube, what's going on? This is Cheeseboy628 here today giving you an OU tier Pokemon Showdown battle. And you have seen this team, I believe, once before. This is one of my sand teams. And the reason I really like this sand team is because this is the only weather that has two pokes where one isn't a pre evolution that can yet start the weather. So they both can stand pretty strong in their own which is why it's very viable to use both of them in order to win a weather war. Plus, I can use T-Tar as my special wall, seeing as it gets the special defense boost from the sand. And then I got Hippowdon, which is very defensively bulky, as my defensive wall. So then the rest of the pokes, Magnezone, handle all the steel threats, Jelsint as another special wall, Donphan as a physical wall, really, and then can spin, and then Alakazam can just hit hard, especially. So, yeah, now looking at his team, honestly, I'm not too threatened. Uh, looking at the Cloister, uh, my Hippowdon can easily take a hit, and if it's Focus Sash, the Sand will easily get rid of that. So just take it out before it sets up too early. Uh, Don Fan will be able to set up some Stealth Rocks, that way uh, Dragonite won't have Multiscale, plus Stone Edge can clean out a Dragonite pretty easily. Uh, Reuniclus could be a problem. It could do quite a number on my team. I just need to make sure it can't set up. Just take it out as soon as possible. Porygon 2 might be a bit of a problem. If you've noticed from most of my teams, I don't really set up a lot. So since Porygon is so bulky, or P2 for that matter, it can just keep recovering and it would take a while to knock it down. So I'm going to have to try to get a status ailment on it or something. Yeah. So now looking at Bronzong, uh, just get in that uh, Magnezone, and hopefully I'll be able to trap it and finish it off with some HP fires. And then Breloom. Breloom is actually a big threat that could do quite a number, but if I can switch in my Alakazam freely, then if I just get a Psychic off right on that Breloom, I'll easily be faster and take out that Breloom easily. So yeah, let's see how that battle goes. So he starts out with his Cloister, and I start out with my Alakazam, and so he's probably going to set up right away, and I'm just going to go for the Psychic to try to take it out in case it doesn't have a Focus Sash. But it does, and it goes for the Shell Smash, and I'm kind of threatened, and no matter what, the Sand will definitely take him out, and he just goes for the Ice Shard for some reason. Kind of weird, but yeah, that's a dead Cloister. Now the Breloom comes in, and I'm pretty sure it's just going to Spore right away, so I'm just going to go for the Earthquake. So now I have Sleep Fodder being Hippowd on, and now I go into Alakazam in a very bad way. I feel really threatened by this Breloom, and I just lose my Alakazam right away. So I come in with Don Fan, and I go for the Ice Shard and hope to take a couple of hits. Luckily, I barely escape the uh, death from the Bullet Seed, and I'm able to take out that Breloom with an Ice Shard. So now. The Bronzong comes in, and I'm like, okay, well, might as well get my rocks up. And he goes for the Trick Room, so maybe it's more offensive, not really sure, maybe just as a Trick Room team. And I just go for the Earthquake here, I'm like, you know what, if he has Levitate, he has Levitate. But I just go for the Earthquake, and turns out he has Heat Proof, so that does a nice chunk to him. So now I bring in Jellicent, I'm just going to go for the Scald, try to do as much damage as possible. He's doing a decent chunk to me with his Earthquake, but yeah, now I'm eventually able to take out that Bronzong with the Scald. Now P2 comes in, which is ridiculously bulky. I need to get that status ailment. I barely survived the T-Bolt, miss the Toxic though, and I die from the sand. So now T-Tar comes in, and I'm like, okay, well, I just gotta start doing a decent chunk to it, and then maybe I can go for the superpower when he least suspects it. But I go for the superpower and he brings in Reuniclus. So now he knows I have superpower and I've got to get out of there. Focus Blast is going to do a ton. I hate Focus Blast though because I basically always miss with it. But yeah, uh, this Reuniclus is doing a huge number to my team with this Trick Room intact. But now the Trick Room is gone and I go for the Crunch. And he lives and sets up the Trick Room again. And I somehow survived the Focus Blast. What? Times four week. I don't even have Choppleberry. But yeah, I take out that Reuniclus. Titar is my only guy left. I go for the Stone Edge. He said GG a while ago. But nope, I'm still going. Now it's just me versus P2 here. This is insane. I don't know what's going to go on. He goes to the T-Bolt. I live. And then I kill him with the superpower. Titar, 
did a tremendous amount of work for a narrow 1-0 victory. So that was an amazing battle, 12th. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'd just like to address that when you like and comment on my videos. It really means a ton and it tells me what I should do for the future. Because when you like the videos, it tells me you like the content. So if you like the video, please click the like button. It's so simple, but it means a ton. And if you don't like it, please constructively tell me in the comments what you don't like and what I should fix because your opinions are definitely what matter here as I want to do what you guys want. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, like, comment, sub, and until later, peace.